Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to set up React Native using React Native CLI. Before we get started, we need to install the following things for the setup. So the first one is latest Node.js version. Then you need to install the VS Code, Android Java SDK. Android Studio and Xcode. So next, let's start React Native CLI globally. Open your terminal and type the following command. This will install React Native CLI globally and this will help to create the project. So next, we have to create a project with the command npm x with react hyphen native in it and the project name so i have named it inside track once the project is created it will create a folder then next we need to install node module so the command we will run is npm install into the project folder this will install all the libraries which are present in package.json and this will take a bit time yes now this is done Now we'll go into the folder where we see all the files including the node modules got installed and yes now we will open this project into vs code once we once we open this in vs code we see all ios related folder android folder and all the files and package.json where we have all the libraries the default libraries which requires to run the project next we need to go into ios folder and do pod install this will install all the pod files required for the project to run on xcode and for the ios on emulator once the pod install is completed we will open the project in xcode from ios folder workspace file once we open in xcode we need to clean build folder first and then build the project once we build the project we can run that project uh, on your phone as well as you can run that on a simulator as you can see it uh, defaultly selected my iphone but i would like to run that on simulator so i will be selecting uh, the simulator where the application will run so I will be selecting iPhone Pro 15 Pro Max. Yes. So once I click on play button, it will initialize its building process and then it will successfully run the application on iOS simulator. Now we have successfully set up our application and the app is running on emulator and we can make the code changes wherever required. And that's it. You have set up React Native environment using the CLI. Now you have complete access to native functionality and you are ready to start building. If, if this was helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials. Drop any question in the comment below. Thank you for watching.